Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. It's probably because my Mavic 3 Enterprise drone is about 300 feet away. Now this is how the drone looks at its max 56 times zoom, but how does this look? Well, the zoom is only one of several factors we'll be comparing today between the Mavic 3 Enterprise and the Matrice 4 Enterprise. We'll also talk about a few things that actually stayed the same too. Now at first with the wide angle lenses, you don't see that big of a difference. They're both 20 megapixel, four thirds CMOS sensors. But for the telephoto, you do get a slightly bigger sensor. Now for the ISO, you will see a fairly big difference. You're going from 100 to 6400 on the Mavic 3 Enterprise to 100 to 25,600 on the Matrice 4 Enterprise. Now on top of that, the Matrice 4E does also have a night mode, which brings the ISO all the way up to 409,600 ISO. Now obviously we can't test that out right now, but if you do want to see us make a video on that, let us know in the comments. And now with something that at first I didn't think was that big of a deal. It's the 0.7 to 0.5 second photo capture. Now 0.2 seconds really is only about a blink of an eye, but if you are processing large data sets, that difference can really add up. And just to give you an idea, if you are taking about 3000 photos with the Mavic 3 Enterprise, it'll take about 35 minutes. Now with the Matrice 4E, it only takes 25 minutes. That 10 minute savings can get even bigger if you also factor in battery swaps. Now that's something you may have to do with the Mavic 3E with its max flight time of about 45 minutes. And you'll get about an extra four minutes with the Matrice 4E at 49 minutes. But just to make things a bit more even, the Mavic 3 Enterprise flight time does go down to about 43 minutes if you do add on an RTK module. Now on the Mavic 3E, you do get a 5,000 milliamp hour battery compared to the 6,700 milliamp hour battery for the Matrice 4. Now on the Matrice 4E, you do get a laser rangefinder, which you don't get on the Mavic 3 Enterprise. In terms of accuracy, it's accurate to about plus or minus a foot at about 300 feet. And here's the difference between what we measured on the Matrice 4E versus what the distance shows on Google Maps. Now, if you have used the rangefinder, let us know how it worked for you in the comments. Now, size-wise, the Mavic 3 Enterprise is definitely a more compact drone. Now, the Mavic 3 Enterprise measures about 13 and a half inches wide, about 11 inches long. Now, the Matrice 4E measures 15 inches wide, about a foot long. Now, weight-wise, the Mavic 3 Enterprise weighs about a can of pop less than the Matrice 4E. Price-wise, the Mavic 3 Enterprise is, of course, going to be a bit less, but that price difference is partially made up by the fact that you don't have to buy the RTK module with the Matrice 4E. So that saves you several hundred dollars. Now the transmission range between these two drones is pretty significant. You're going from about nine miles with the Mavic 3 Enterprise to about 15 with the Matrice 4 Enterprise. Now, of course you won't be mapping anything 15 miles away, but if you are in a dense urban environment, that could mean a stronger connection if you are dealing with a lot of signal interference. Now with the Matrice 4E, you do get real-time object tracking. So things like cars, boats, or people, now, the Mavic 3 Enterprise doesn't get any of those. Now, on the Mavic 3 Enterprise, you do still get some features like return to home. You can select a point of interest and you do still get omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, but it's just not as advanced as the Matrice 4E. The two remotes we have are the RC Pro Enterprise. That's for the Mavic 3 Enterprise and the Mavic 3 Thermal. And we also have the RC Plus 2 Enterprise controller. That's for the Matrice 4 Enterprise and the Matrice 4 Thermal. 
Now you are gonna get significantly better battery life on the RC Plus 2 Enterprise remote. It's a 5,000 milliamp battery versus a 6,500 milliamp battery. So that's basically about three hours of runtime versus 3.8 hours of runtime. Now that in itself isn't that big of a difference, but when you factor in the external battery that you can add to the RC Plus 2 Enterprise controller, then you get about seven hours of runtime. And you do get about another one and a half inches of screen on the newer controller, and it is also about 400 nits brighter. And the newer controller is also a lot better at handling cold and hot climates. With the RC Pro Enterprise, it can handle about 14 degrees Fahrenheit up to about 104 degrees. And the RC Plus 2 Enterprise controller can handle about negative four degrees all the way up to 122 degrees. Now, if you do live in a moderate climate, those temperatures might not matter that much, but down here in Florida, 104 degrees might not be quite enough. And for you folks up north, 14 degrees might not be enough either. So you can see that there's a ton of changes between these two drones, but let's head back to the studio to see what stayed the same. Now, in terms of high winds, both are rated to handle about 27 miles per hour. Both drones also have a max video resolution of 4K at 30 frames per second. And if you're familiar with the DJI Pilot 2, both drones use the same app. With the camera on the 4E, you can tilt up 35 degrees, and you can do the same on the 3E, but only in sport mode. With all these changes and similarities, which drone is right for you? Let us know in the comments, and if you do like these detailed breakdowns, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next one. If you are interested in purchasing either of these drones, you'll find the links in the description below.